this is the girl Camille I want to say welcome back to my channel today I am working on some different shades of pink on a 10 inch round canvas here I am just showing you the consistency in the paint so if you're new to my channel this is how I mix my paint to get the, the kind of flow that I want I don't want the paint to be too thin or too thick um, but yes it's on a little bit of the thicker side as you can see when I was showing you earlier it does leave a mount on a mount before it disappear, disappear. all right so what's happening is that when I pour it off the popsicle stick you can see that it leaves a bit of a paint on top of the surface before it actually disappear so if you're new that's all it is this is just some language that we use in the fluid art the acrylic pour community so I want to say welcome if you're new and um, this is something that you're gonna love this technique actually took me less than half an hour to do um, you guys can do give it a try at home let me know what you think about this one here I am just using three shades of pink and there is wet paint on the canvas it's white uh, just regular titanium white this white base as well is mixed to the same consistency so all the colors the pink and the white base on the canvas has to mix to the same consistency when you're spreading your paint on the canvas please don't leave too much spread it as thinly but not too thin you do want to have some movement when you swipe the colors across the canvas okay um, as you guys watch closely you will see that the first swipe I did I wasn't too happy with this because you know the pink was too bright so I am just gonna adjust you guys will definitely see just just to slowly um, adjust if you want to get this technique it does take practice it's not gonna come over time even with myself um, I know what I was going for I didn't want it to be too heavy with that fuchsia um, so I started to take a bit off you know I, I just swipe more off the um, that beautiful baby pink and that rose pink so yeah it comes with practice guys just give it a try and yes I do wipe my spoon I wipe it on a wet napkin and um, yeah and then go again you guys need to always wipe your spoon and then go you need a clean spoon each time after um, each swipe all right so do let me know what you guys think about this one and of course leave me a comment in the comment section do stay tuned for a close-up of the wet result also guys if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the bell hit all so that you're notified each time I post a new video I do different techniques you know I love my flowers this is just one of the techniques I use to paint flowers I use also do the Dutch pour which is the blow dryer technique there's various techniques that you guys can check out all right the chain pull so the fluid art is very um, versatile very innovative you guys you know what you don't have to limit yourself you can you know think outside the box create beautiful wonders all right don't limit yourself guys give this one a try okay mm -hmm. 